are ready for it tonight. It's Green Park and off the Green Park, open surface, straight. Yes, sir. You all right, Keith? How are you, look? You look all right. Thanks for coming out. Hello, you all right? How are you? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? Uh, oh. Right, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just getting used to this, you've got to forgive me. <laughs> what are you saying, brother? Oh, yeah? You're good, Miles? How are you? Oh, you all right? Good. You see, we know that black show, the white comics go around the back, we want to go, we want to let people know I didn't, that I, in I, I didn't know where the, I don't know where the stage is. The though, I love that picture though, at the front there. Yeah, it's it a nice picture, man. Oh, it's big and bright. I just oh, want to I say to you, we're proud of you, man. We're here to support you. We are here to support you. We are here to support you. Definitely. Take that off. That's it. Sound check. Yeah. All right. Hey. Royal Circle. That's a lot of fucking seats, man. It's like a proper, proper theatre, in it? In the heart of the West End. Yeah, this is the, the Queen Elizabeth's hangout spot. I can't ask for no more. Fucking hell. One, two, one, two. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the London Palladium. My name's Slim. I'm a stand-up comedian from South London, UK, England. I've been performing now, this is my 28th year. So I started back, Jesus, 93, I do believe. It started back 94, 93, 94. It's a good little while ago. I didn't enjoy going to the school Christmas play. Do you know one year I went there and <coughs> watched Mary stand on stage for at least two minutes in silence looking over the other side of the stage. And I know where it was, just looking at the boys, trying to remember which one's Joseph. <laughs> so you don't know your baby daddy. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, this is foolishness. Funny's funny. Funny don't change over the years. First performance I ever done was at the Hackney Empire. Full audience, 1,200, bro. Curtis Walker had a show, which Curtis Walker is one of the godfathers of British comedy. One, two, one, two. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. He had a one-man show like I'm having now. And at the break, he just said to me, look, <laughs> go up and do a couple of minutes. You'll be all right, go and do it. You know them kind of man that's daring, you know? They have a little drink and they get brave. And I say, go on, go on, you'll be all right. But I didn't want to say no to him because this guy's a legend. You don't say no to legends. So I thought, all right then, I'll go up and try a thing. I went up, tried a thing and it worked out. And I've never looked back from that day. So it was, it was that kind of fucking summer for us, innit? But I said, a lot of you lot, you lot are lock up with your kids. I've got kids, I've got fucking six of them. I know. <laughs> I know. Three of them are born in the same month. I know. <laughs> I know. I've got six kids, three boys, three girls. All my kids find me funny, you know what I mean? Some of them try, the older one now, he's quite one of my cool kids. He's got more cool demeanor about him, but he still watches my shit. I see, I'll catch him watching my shit on YouTube and all that. Yeah, I got ratings from the kids, yeah. That baffled me for years that you could have three kids of the same woman and they're all born in the same month. I tell you, the calendar had to sort the shit out. I need to know what I was doing. I counted nine months back from their birthday. Turns out it's my fucking birthday. Oh. <laughs> yeah, go on, these are my little birthday presents. And look how you lot clap like I'm not in debt. I get my inspiration for material from life in general. Interacting with people, your brethren, your friends come round, sometimes they have a good old laugh. But there's things you say where it would just be a laugh and just move on to the next. In your mind, you're a comic, you're collecting, like, oh, wow, you know what? That's a good subject. I've never thought about that. Before I go on stage, I usually would chill out with my friends, have a little drink, have a laugh, just, just have a social vibe about me, because it gets me in the mood then to be social out on stage, you know? Did you hear that? Did you hear what you called me on top of it? It's my day and I got called the C word. All right. Well, when you're ready, come round the stage door, mate. When you're a pet owner, you want a bit of loyalty. Cats don't show you too much loyalty, you know? Dog owners, dogs, your dogs will show you loyalty. Your dog will be at home right now waiting for you to come back. 
Hear the car pull up. My man greet you at the door. Tell Wagon, road boy, he's up. Road boy, see him there. My car in. Lord Clad. Yo. A thug's in it, happy. Coming all over, you have to get off my clothes, man. Grateful. Happy to see you. Come on from work, they like that. You've been at work all day, you're coming like, everything all right. Pull the chain, let's go for a wall. Let's go and fuck up somebody. Yeah, I do get nerves uh, before a show, but I work with it. I think it's good for you to get nerves. If you ain't got nerves, you say, hey, I made it. I missed the big. I like the nerves, it carries me. But once I'm announced on stage, the nerves go. Once I step from behind the curtain, that's it, nerves are gone. Give it up for Slim! <laughs>